everybody. So welcome. So, <clears throat> hey everybody. So today in this video, I'm going to do a face mask review. Um, this is the Botanics um, Natural Insp Inspired The Power of Plants Shine Away Iconic Clay Mask. And it says, Shine Away um, Clay Mask with Willow Bark Extract helps to draw out impurities and remove excess oil, leaving skin visibly clear and smoother. So it says direction, shake well before use, apply to cleansed skin, smooth a generous layer of the mask over the face and neck. I will not do the neck today for time's sake. Avoiding eye area, leaving on for 10 minutes, wipe away excess mask with tissue and rinse with warm water. Use, the, use weekly. So it's light enough to use weekly so um it's the end of the day i've already kind of put some comfy clothes on i still have my makeup on i did reapply lips for video purposes but um i'm going to take my makeup off and i'm using the um lancome bifacial um eye makeup remover I've um, washed my face. I forgot to take, bring it down. It's the Aveeno um, Foaming Cleanser. Um, and I have removed my contacts. Sorry for that kind of grossed me up, but I thought that would be cool to show. Um, so I have this um, Wet n Wild foundation brush that I got from the dollar store. And I am going to shake this up as best as I can. It seems super thin. Like I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... Okay, I'm going to try to squirt it on the back of my hand to see the consistency, and it's kind of weird. So, and then after I do this, I'll just squirt it onto the brush. I need to put a headband on to get anything... It's already drying on my hand where I squirted it and it dried pretty fast. Um, this kind of feels really weird. Kind of tingly. Kind of doesn't feel very comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Well, that just happened. 
I just got this mask on my pants. Good thing I'm wearing pajama pants. Um, and it doesn't really say about like thickness. Let's see. Directions. Um, generous layer. So maybe I have to kind of be more generous. This is really messy, you guys. Like, I don't know how it could not be super messy. I've already dripped it on my pants, on my table. Um, so I don't really know what to do. Should I just use my hands the next time? Maybe squirt it into like a plate or something? look weird going into battle um so the ingredients is sea salt um water something i can't say citric acid potassium sorbate benz benz benzic acid the um bark extract that it claims like It kind of is doing the same thing that the glam mud does where it kind of where your pores are it just kind of leaves little spots so let's let this dry it's 644 so I'm gonna kind of say like 642 is when we were done give it a minute or two <laughs> so you can get this mask at um, Target and at Ulta. Oh my gosh, when I'm talking, it's like flaking off on my face. It's really weird. So, um, at Target, it's $13.99. At Ulta, it is $16.99. Yeah, so I would be really mindful when you're talking. So, like, it's on my phone. It's flaky on my phone. It's 3.5 ounces. This one is um, one ounce. So that one's at Target. Let's see if the Ulta one's a bit bigger. So it's been about 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. So um, I am going to take it off. I already kind of tried to wipe it off here just to see. But um, I'm going to just kind of wipe as much as I can off with a washcloth and then go rinse my face. This washcloth is damp. I have a little bowl with some water in it next to me. So, well, not really next to me. Not this specific. Really. So it smells really funny. Like pretty much really like mud like by a river <laughs> one thing I did notice is that it when it dries it's really really dry and flaky so you really kind of have to be mindful of that like I wouldn't like sit on your bed or anything because it could get everywhere so but it is coming off quite nicely my face is quite irritated I think it's just from the rubbing of the rag um now, just to note, I don't have that sensitive of skin, like, not, like, this 
if something breaks me out, then like I don't ever try it again. Like that's how I don't have like major problems with sensitive skin. So um, if you do, um, I would maybe read the ingredients carefully to see if there's anything in here that would bother you. Um, and then you can go from there. My pores don't look very different. But this looks absolutely super red. I'm kind of raised, so that's a bit concerning. I have this other mask that I tried, and the reviews on it are like from Amazon were like amazing. So I bought it, but when I put it on, my face kind of like it gives me this sensation. It doesn't burn or anything. It's like a tingling sensation. I just can't stand, and so that's why I'm like really nervous to try like a bubble mask. So if I do try that, I'll probably try an elf one. I don't know if you want me to do the elf bu bubble mask, that would be quite fun to do. Okay, so I wiped that all off. My face feels actually really good, but I am going to go rinse my face with some warm water and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did wash my face. Well, I didn't wash it. I just rinsed it with some warm water and then splashed some cold water on it to kind of help. You can kind of see some redness a little bit right here, which is kind of concerning. Um, my pores look a little bit smaller, I would say. Um, I think sometimes that's just an illusion, but you can kind of see that there's like some shine that has, which is funny because it's just shine away. So, um, my skin feels smooth. I, I would say that, um, you could give this a try. It's probably a nice cheaper version of, than the, um, the Glam Glow. Um, and I also have this L'Oreal, um, um, algae clay mask um, it's hey, these ones are really good alternatives to the glam glow um, I did like this one a lot this is a sample from a target box that I got there was a video on that so so far so good um, if there's any change overnight I will do um, an update in the in the description so if you did like this video and it was helpful and fun to watch go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching Bye.